Hello and welcome to Shark Jets, I'm Skid Viz. If you've ever played Half-Life Alex, and why wouldn't you have, uh, you're familiar with the wrist pockets. There's these little slots that you can carry one thing in each wrist. Uh, and today we're gonna show you how to do that in VRIF, in Unity, with VRIF. So we're gonna get into that, but first, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that YouTube reminds people that I exist. And now without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here we are in Unity 2019 LTS. I have VRIF installed, uh, and I've just set up a little plane here to stand on. So let's go ahead and bring in the XR rig. And uh, I'll save this real quick. Um, this plane is not where I thought it would be, so let me reset that plane. There we go and set my rig to one all right so now i'm just going to save this scene and really quickly i'm going to go into one of the sample scenes inside of uh, brif so inside the bng framework folder there's a folder called scenes which you should explore uh, because there's a lot of good stuff in there uh, in this case we're just going to jump into the xr demo folder or scene and if you zoom in here onto this table there's this snap points example and that's what we're going to be using we're just going to put this in the player hand uh, so I'll go ahead and just click on this real quick see if I can get one of those all right so I've just got this one slot I'm just going to right click on it and say copy you can copy things between scenes. So I'll just go back to my sample scene and uh, zoom out and then uh, go into the hands. So let's go to the XR rig, player controller, camera rig, tracking space, right hand, right hand anchor, right controller anchor, right controller. So right here I can just paste and it'll go ahead and actually put that in the wrong place but we'll put it there inside this right controller and so now we're good to go if we click on this you'll see it's there in the middle of the world or in the, in the wrong place basically so we want to make sure to zero out uh, its transform so that it's actually inside the hand which is what we want so now we can position it where we want it so just slide it back a little bit um, and maybe just turn it 90 degrees all right, so 90 degrees it is. And now when we uh, use the controller, you'll see it'll be kind of paired to the hand. So I'm just gonna move it a little bit, a little bit more out here so it doesn't look so weird. Um, and then we need a grabbable object. So I'm just going to uh, bring in the knife. We've got a knife prefab. So I'm just gonna throw that on the map here. It is grabbable. Uh, it is remote grabbable, so that helps. Uh, so we've got that set up, and now we should be able to test this out. All right, so here we are. Uh, everything's working. As you can see, the, uh, the O from the snap point is now following my hand. You can rotate that and set it up however you want. Make it always look at the camera if you want, that kind of stuff. And then uh, we have a knife sitting there on the floor. And if I touch the knife to that, you can see since it's a grabbable object, it kind of highlights the O. So if I let go, now it snaps in place and it is just hanging out there ready for me to just grab and bring it back out. And so basically if it's grabbable, you can uh, lock it into the snap point um, and uh, we're good to go. Now there are a couple of things you can change uh, on, the snaps, uh, on the snap zone. Uh, basically, whenever you snap an item to this uh, slot, it will scale it. And so right there you can see scale item is set to 0.5. So it's going to reduce it in size uh, by 50% when it gets snapped to the uh, snap zone. Uh, the object itself can have that as well. You can see down here on the knife, we've got the snap zone scale. So you can override the default by changing this to a different number. Uh, and then you can put one of these in both uh, both the gloves, both the hands, and you can have nice little pockets. 
And there you have it, super quick and super simple. Uh, you can make a little a uh, few additions to this, like change the uh, indicator for where you're holding it instead of having a text item, which it has now. That O is literally an O. Um, you can make it always look at the camera. You can make it hold multiple things. Whatever you want to do, you can. Uh, but I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so I can keep making more. Um, there's no code for this. It was uh, actually really quick and simple. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'm still Skidvis. Peace out.